seriously, I, like, who's the luckiest person on the planet? This stuff is so cool. So let's figure out how are we going to get to the brain. And we did, it looks like I color-coded it. I color-coded the person involved in bringing the information in, but it doesn't look like I finished the process. Who is this? Who is that guy that I just colored in so now you can't see it anymore? Who's going to receive information from the cochlea and the semicircular canals? It's cranial nerve 8, the vestibulocochlear nerve. Vestibulo means something balance related, space balance. Cochlear means cochlea, sound, hearing. You have two branches of your vestibulocochlear nerve, the vestibular branch and the cochlear branch. Who goes where? The vestibular branch receives information from the semicircular canals. The cochlear branch receives information from the cochlea, and then they combine together and travel in the same cranial nerve. So let's look at, okay, where do they go? Once again, of course, it's much more complicated than we, uh, we're not going to go into all those crazy, they're, they're awesome details. You want to go into all those details because it's really interesting, but we're not going to. So who's this? That's the vestibular branch of the vestibulocochlear nerve. Who's this? That's the cochlear branch of vestibular co vestibulocochlear nerve. And who is this? That's cranial nerve 8, the vestibulocochlear nerve. Information, they get activated because your rocks are falling around in your head or waves are going up the cochlea. The hair cells, which are receiving that mechanical information, translate that to the nerves, to the neurons, to the sensory neurons that then travel in. Now, we've got a couple stops along the way. Tell me true. Look at this. E okay, push pause and see if you can guess who would you expect it to go through first. This is a fantastic clicker, qu clicker question right here, live and in person. I'll give you two choices. I'll give you more choices. Thalamus, wouldn't you expect it to go through thalamus? Is that the first thing you're thinking of? Does anybody out there have an idea of somewhere else that it might go first? And you don't, like, there are some structures here that, yeah, it totally goes through the pons and the medulla oblongata, and, like, we have other places that we go, but there's a structure that we learned that we would expect. Who's this? This is the inferior colliculus. What? And do you remember? The information is going to come in and synapse at the inferior colliculus, which is going to interpret the sound as, is this something that we should initiate a reflex and look and jump and get ready to fight or not? If it isn't, we will pass that information on to the thalamus. And once the thalamus says, yeah, actually, that's a really nice sound, let's send that to the temporal lobe where we can process that and think about what it sounds like. How phenomenal is that? So that pathway actually makes a lot of sense. Now you're processing the sound and thinking about how fantastic your teacher is, and now you're going to go do something with that information, like study for 800 hours, because that you're in anatomy. Welcome to anatomy. Should we talk about the anatomy of the eyeball? Of course we shall.